Let's face it, we all built a 16 color sheep farm in our world. They're nice to see, but you will end up with tons of wool that you don't use while you are always short of the colors you really need. I came up with my own design, pretty, functional and really simple. See, in Java you can dye a naked sheep, so I wanted a switch on off farm that you can stop just by flicking a single lever to change the sheep colors as you wish every time you need it. Let's move to my creative world for a quick tutorial. This is the block where the sheep is supposed to be. An observer will detect if the grass is gone. The signal from the observer goes up to a dispenser filled with shears. Let's put some random items for now. If I change the block in front of the observer, the dispenser will activate. But if I remove this chisel stone block, nothing happens. So this is the key to build a switch. A sticky piston will do all the work and we can create a line of redstone. The line is important to have an on-off farm. Build the rest of our module. We need to trap the sheep. Nobody, you can fool me, you are not a rare pink sheep. Next to the first module, we can build as many as we want, just like this. Let's add a nice detail to the farm by changing this block with a redstone lamp so we can see when the farm is on or off. You can shape the farm like you want. This is how to make a corner. Just add a block behind the last one, then a diagonal one. And this is the new module. On the top, create a W-shaped path for the redstone, like this. Pay attention, this block in the corner with the redstone on top is part of both modules, that's the only difference. Now you can add more modules. Move all the sheep to their spot using a lid. It won't be a piece of cake, but not even a nightmare, I promise. I added fences above the sheep to prevent the player to accidentally fall into the pit. When the farm is turned down, you can walk above the farm and dye the sheep as you wish. The red sun signal will fade, so check if the pistons will go down. Right after the last working piston, use a repeater instead of a red sun. Right under the grass blocks, create a railway with an upper minecart then a large enough system of hoppers and chests to gather the wool. If you build the farm above the grass level, make sure to use grass blocks under the glass, so the grass will grow back. You can also connect the railway to a sorting system if you need it. As you can see, you can choose the size and even the shape of the farm. For some reason I decided to build an 8-shaped farm in my survival world. Keep watching to see the final result and if you watch so far, why don't you like and subscribe? It helps me create more content like this. If you wanna know how I do it, if you search for a new cool idea, here she is, here she is. Mima MC, Mima MC, the best place to be. Building brick by brick with a little chic mountain high or never deep. All you villagers and pillagers, she's gonna show the craft to the secrets of Minecraft. Assemble and creating and waiting for the new update. Don't be a creeper if you like what you see. Raise your hands high and thumbs up for Mima MC. The farm was too flat, so I added two pens on the roof to make it look busy. I had a lot of fun decorating the interiors, turning it into a tailor's shop with samples of wool and dyes. 
This is my banner lab with the patterns and everything I need to decorate my projects. Check my previous video with banner ideas and stay tuned because more is coming. Thank you all for watching and see you soon!